Okay, hey, we're going to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we have a really cool um, strap review for you guys from the brand Straps Co. Um, and essentially, a little bit about this brand. I reviewed them recently for the first time. They actually have a massive collection of watch bands. And I've kind of kept my eye out um, to see some of their new releases. And this was one that really caught my eye because it actually reminded me quite a bit of a, of a harder to find um, bracelet that I put on this watch. And it's actually kind of better in a lot of ways. Um, so I figured I'd throw it on there, kind of share it with you guys because typically um, when I post this watch on Instagram or when people comment on, on the videos, oh man, wait, where'd you get that strap? Like, what's where's the strap? So um, this is a really nice... Um, basically a like a composite waterproof um, bracelet which I think is really really cool and um, I'm gonna show it to you guys so with that said let's go ahead zoom the camera out get this piece in hand and take a closer look all right so as you guys can see this is your standard digi tuna but it has this really nice matching bracelet with it of course the digi tuna is a resin case it does have a steel case back and steel pushers and everything like that but for the most part it is resin um so having a matching bracelet is awesome and i think even the design language is is very seiko like it has kind of the um the seiko monster style of links there everything is screw in very high quality and this time we even get a blacked out buckle as standard which is really really nice the unit that i had on here before was from another company and essentially it was very similar except it had a steel buckle and honestly it was kind of hard to get a hold of it was like in and out of uh, production so um yeah this one is readily available so figured why not give it a spin um sent a, a message to straps co and they were more than happy to kind of send it my way to share with you all and i'm happy to say that this is just as nice as i thought it was and it's actually super cheap it's only 39.99 and also again readily available this is really meant to be a replacement strap for Santo, um, you know, uh, more, I guess, fitness and adventure uh, type watch, which this Seiko, of course, is that. But I mean, in the more mainstream, uh, you know, this is a type of strap you can put on a smartwatch or anything like that. Um, and then it's actually available uh, in quite a few different uh, lug sizes. You got 20, 22, and 23, uh, which makes it pretty versatile, uh, guys. So. For me, it's a must have for this Digi Tuna. Um, you may not love the Digi Tuna, but um, I think on this strap, it's it's quite compelling. Really, really dig it, guys. And then again, you can see really nicely done. And, and the nice thing is thematically, it's, it's nice because it does have, of course, some touches of, you know, some raw steel, um, but it does have a nice black coated um, buckle there the clasp so everything is nice and tight um, it's stamped you know but at the price range it uh, doesn't really matter and then also of course it's rel relatively a lightweight watch already um, so having a big heavy milled clasp might not really flow perfectly but it, it, it could be a nice option but honestly this thing is already pretty lightweight as it is because of the case um, even though it's rather large and the shroud and everything make it even larger um, it's one of those things where it's still relatively lightweight especially if you're used to wearing um, larger mechanical watches or even not so large mechanical watches that uh, happen to have some waterproof to them so um, yeah, this thing's pretty nice. I guess we can get into some of the fine details um, in terms of these straps. They do uh, basically taper a bit. So um, if you have a, uh, as, as you can see, it's, it's, this is a 22 millimeter, and then basically it goes down to actually about 22 because these have it a little initial flare out which is actually pretty nice. So you can see here, which th this isn't exactly like the other model uh, similar that I had before, but this has a little kick out, which I think is nice. It actually helps it kind of flow and, and feel quite uh, wide and weighty. Um, I will say that I, when I got this out of the package, it did have kind of like a certain 
like grit texture to it. And I think that's just, uh, you know, from a, a manufacturing standpoint, probably just left on there. But basically I just ran it under the sink, wiped it off and, and it was perfect and ready to go. So, um, yeah, this thing's sweet. So again, oh, also these are three millimeters thick, um, which uh, gives you, I think, a nice, um, you know, a, a nice feel in, in terms of it feeling secure on the wrist, uh, which works out really great. Um, they're not too thick, not too thin, uh, very simplistic, but still uh, well executed, which I can definitely enjoy. Um, they do come with a set of spring bars, which is nice. Um, and yeah, these things are pretty cool. Um, so let's actually get this on wrist, um, and see how it wears. Um, well, typically I do that off screen, but you know what guys, this is, this is pretty casual here. Boom. There you have it guys. Digging it. Gotta say. And if you guys are like looking for a review on this watch, um, Definitely check the channel history um, for the DigiTuna. Um, I'm a big fan of it. Honestly, it kind of has, in a lot of ways, replaced uh, my G-Shocks. Um, just because I feel like, I mean, not the G-Shocks aren't cool. I mean, I just feel like some of the newer G-Shocks I'm not really in love with. Um, I, you know, uh, for me, it's kind of some of their better designs or just older designs. Um, but for me, this is a cool one. It kind of speaks to me, obviously, with the Seiko design aesthetic. It's not obviously like the super most, but I think it's more so because of the camera setup. It doesn't read as legible as it does out in real life here. I'm trying to tilt it to, to help with the legibility, but basically it's reflecting off of a black lens, right? That it's recording off of. Um, and a relatively black room, um, you know, the only lights are the studio lights um, on either end of the desk here. So this is actually quite legible, uh, you know, in person. And then you can even get the old, uh, if I can, uh, is it dark enough for me to get the old, uh, it's like a tap thing, but I, it might be. Oh, yeah, it definitely is lighting up. It's just you can't really see it because it's not dark Sorry guys, maybe if I like did one of these numbers and just kind of Nope Maybe if I No <laughs> Okay, it's not about the watch anyway not about the it, it is bothering me now that I wasn't able to show you the the loom guys It's 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 upsetting. Okay, let's do this boom lights tap there we go so not the most intuitive loom there of course it's supposed to be on my wrist when it's tapping um, so that's another reason why basically it has like a little squeeze to it so technically like if I wear it tight enough I can just kind of do this and it'll turn on um, but anyways again this isn't really a review for the watch it's for the strap it's a strap but you know me uh, get sidetracked so <laughs> but yeah I, I love this thing it fits really well and honestly for any type of watch where you you want something you can wear actively and and really beat up and you know when it comes to getting out um, at the park uh, throwing the football with my son or whatever it may be this type of strap really works well for me um, it's uh, it's feels secure it doesn't have a bunch of stretch to it um, which is nice because uh, when you're when you're launching something um, you know you don't want the watch case to come away from your wrist and although this is a lighter case in general so it's gonna fare better um, just by nature if you do have another watch this is easy especially one that has drilled lugs like you have here. You can swap this thing on and kind of turn really any watch into kind of a fun sporting watch um, that it's held together again by screws, metal screws, which is great. Although these are, you know, like polyurethane basically um, links. I believe they're polyurethane. You'd have to get into the small print, but again, super affordable, 40 bucks. And then there's like all the, always these like crazy deals on straps co's website where like you buy more than one and like 
prices go down the more you buy so there, there's always kind of incentive to spend x to achieve y so um definitely a nice thing and i know it's something that's you know would appeal to uh some of the value oriented viewers that are on here that don't always want to spend a ton of money on uh watches or accessories uh this watch is relatively affordable um and uh i think it's it this thing looks sweet on it let me know what you guys think in the comments below but for me this is a must have um if you have a digi tuna throw this bad boy on there if, even if you have like one of those kind of street tunas that have um the plastic shroud instead of the metal shroud something like this would actually look really great on it and because of the width options um you know you can get it in 20 or 22 which is great and if you have a sun toe um uh, watch you can get it in 23 which is helpful too or I think there's various like garments and all that stuff too um, you could throw this on but yeah man digging it so guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video please do hit like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys mm -hmm.